Hey, Steve Champagne here. In today's Ninja Hack, I'm going to show you how you can run a Facebook Live video from your desktop computer or from your laptop computer. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get into uh, what I think is going to be an amazing hack today, and that is how to run your Facebook live from your desktop not your mobile phone you know walking around with a, a selfie stick and relying on your mobile carriers Wi-Fi connection or data connection and if you've been watching any of these videos that people are just you know randomly doing uh, they kind of stop and pause and really I, I watch them for you know 30 seconds and I'm gone but if you're looking to create a very professional um, you know live stream like Frank Kern does then you're going to uh, want to pay attention to this hack okay so let's jump over to Frank's page first real quickly uh, Frank started probably about oh it looks like about six weeks ago he started doing a, a live cast it's roughly goes for about you know 45 to 50 minutes uh, sometimes you know, an hour depending upon how much he's doing he's been really getting in very succinctly each week he gets better and better uh, Frank has a very large following and as you can see he's getting lots of views and lots of likes and lots of attention and he's been giving some really good information um, so this is how he does it okay so let's first talk about some basic gear that you're going to need to do this from your desktop first of all you should have a good internet connection. One of the things I personally do is that when I'm going to do any type of live streaming, even though I have a very fast internet connection uh, with Verizon um, through my Wi-Fi network here in the home, I actually do a hard wire so I get the best uh, internet speed I can from my uh, carrier okay so I make sure I get my 75 75 uh, megabytes up and down so that's the first thing I do so I want to make sure I always have a good connection now as far as your equipment goes um, the first thing you're going to do is need a camera so what I basically have right now is the C910 okay this is the C920 and they also have the 930 now as you can see it's very inexpensive when I originally bought my camera about two and a half years ago uh, it was like hundred and ten or hundred and twenty dollars so this is a good deal you're gonna find a link just below this video if you're watching the video here on my website uh, out to this link here it's a non-affiliate link okay so just pick it up if you don't have a good camera uh, to do this and so you definitely want something that's a 1080p all right uh, but again the best you're gonna get is 720 now you're gonna need audio uh, if you've seen me with on my hacks and my opening videos uh, I have this microphone what I have is an audio Technica 2020 USB microphone this is about three and a half years old uh, this is the latest version that they have out there that I could find again on Amazon this is the a ATR 2500 USB condenser microphone again get a good microphone and possibly get a pop screen to go in front of that okay um, and if you don't have a good microphone I would recommend something like this and lastly you need some good professional lighting uh, this is the light kit I currently have it's made by Cowboy Studios uh, the light that I'm currently using I actually have two lights here in my setup uh, from my from the desk type of videos that I do I'm using the smaller of the uh, light box this is the overhead light box this is the one that I'm currently using that's on a stand that's off to the left and when we go live here I'll kinda show you where that is okay and also I have a, a small inexpensive LED light that runs off a battery that has a, a little remote that's directly behind the camera so I have some uh, light lighting directly on me and I have a little bit of lighting that's off to the left of me which again I'm going to show you so once you get the gear the next thing you need to do is get the software and there's two pieces of software out there the first one is an open source one that's the one I use and that software is something called uh, open broadcaster software all right and what you're looking to use is your new studio uh, this is really um, where it's going uh, this is going to allow you to do a lot of things uh, this is free um, this is what I'm using and uh, you know definitely get the version that you need for your operating system whether it's Windows or a Mac but if you're looking for something that's probably a little bit more robust uh, you know, if you're looking to be doing some really big stuff you may want to look into what's called Wirecast. 
Uh, this can be run from a computer, but also you know hardware too. All right, much more expensive. This is five hundred dollars. So if you're just getting started, I'm going to highly recommend that you uh, start off with Open Broadcaster. Now, what I'm going to go into today is really not how to set up Open Broadcaster, but just basically what you need to do, uh, the very basics to you know link uh, Open Broadcasting software or studios to your Facebook page, okay? But I did put a link down in the uh, link section of this post. Uh, they'll take you out to some very extensive training. I actually went through this training and of course playing with the software, you'll get pretty proficient with it. So there's a lot of training here. Some of it will be applicable, some of it will not be applicable. Uh, if you want me to put together some um, detailed training, just below, again, if you're watching this here on my website, uh, just hit the Ask Champ button, I have a question, submit it, and um, maybe I'll put together a small mini course on, on how to actually set up open broadcasts above and beyond you know, linking it for a live broadcast, okay? So without further ado, let's get into the exactly how to do this, and then we'll, we'll wrap up this hack. Okay, so let me show you how easy it is to actually get this set up and running really, really quickly, okay? So first of all, again, my light box is right here. My microphone is right here, so we get good light. I have uh, a backlight I'm gonna turn on. So now I'm well lit and I highly recommend that you do something like this too, okay? All right, so we need to make that connection between OBS and your page that you wanna stream to, which will ultimately go out into the feed, okay? So from your page, you want to go over to Publishing Tools right here. You then want to go down to Videos. At the top of Video Libraries, you're going to see Live Link. What you need to do is click on that. You need to copy your, your stream key. Go back over to OBS. You can go to Settings right here. Click on that. You go to Stream. Make sure that the service that you select is Facebook Live. There's multiple services in here. You just need to copy your stream key right in here. All right, make sure it's the same stream key. Hide that and then hit apply and then hit OK and it'll close that, OK? Now, very important about this stream key, it's really good for one use It's and it's only available for up to 24 hours. After that, the stream key is dead. So just keep that in mind. Next, what you want to do is start your stream. Uh, let it connect and let it connect for some time, probably about 15 to 20 seconds. You can see down here, one of the things I do want to show you here is that the CPU usage is very, very low. Um, much better than, say, if you're doing this with um, uh, Google Hangouts on Air, okay, which is a resource hog. So, again, I think we have enough time now. Once that's in play, what you want to do is click on Preview. And it's going to go fetch that stream now. So now we have it. We have we're streaming here. We have here. And then all we need to do is click on go live. And now that will be in your uh, page and into the feed for people to watch. So if we jump back over to Ninja's Hacks Club, the main page, I'm going to refresh this now. It right here, going live. Here's the stream. So we're running a live stream right here from the desktop. So this wraps up the Ninja hack. And in future hacks, I'm going to show you how to do this with YouTube. Okay? So talk to you later. Hopefully you enjoyed that Ninja hack and you got some value out of it. Now before you go, take the opportunity and join our club. And you can do so by clicking on one of the three buttons just below. See them? You can either get on our Facebook notification, our browser notification, and that really works well if you're on Chrome or Firefox or Safari as your primary browser, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe channel button. And also before you go, take the opportunity to check out the videos to the right. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.